Hello lovelies, I'm Micah and I still play with makeup. I am doing a second video this week and it is a collaboration with my pastor. He and I were actually talking and praying and God gave him a message and it was something that was so fantastic that I just had to share it with you guys. It is he wanted us to share our vision for 2018, to take the time this week and write it down and then at New Year's Eve to actually pray about it. Now, Pastor Patrick has already posted a video on his channel. I will link that, that video down below that basically describes what the challenge is I, I guess you could call it a challenge, but it's something that God gave us and he wanted us to share it with you all and hope that you all would participate. Now, what my job is, is to talk about how I have put my list together and to maybe share a few of my main categories and a couple of my examples to possibly help you put your list together. You can put as little amount or as much time as you want into this project, but the more that you do, I know the more that you'll get out of it. Now, when I started working on this, I actually was praying and already got a, a one answer to three of my questions that or requests that I wanted for for myself for 2018 and but then I really started working on this and I decided that I needed to step back and make some promises to myself because I didn't want to just stop at New Year's Eve and forget about this document and then come back to it at the end of 2018. So first what I did was I set myself up some promises. I wrote down what I wanted to accomplish with this list. First, I promised myself that I would pray in faith and affirmation over everything on this list repeatedly. I wanted I want to be able to work on this as much as I possibly can, and I've got some some reminders going off right now. Um, but I wanted to uh, I want to reaffirm everything on this list as much as I possibly can. Now I've decided to make this a living document. I'm going to be working on this all throughout 2018. And I'm going to be reviewing this document in full at the end of 2018 in hopes of seeing some lessons learned and also to see if my life has improved, to see how it has improved, not if, but how it has improved. Um, and I'm going to use this. This is the most important promise to myself. I'm going to use this document to do some self-motivation. I know there's going to be times when I'm going to feel beat and I'm going to be, feel not to want to do anything and just want to crawl in my corner. So I'm going to come to this, this document and use it to self-motivate and to get myself back on track. Now, one thing that I have learned over the years is I am, you have to be, to be able to get this to work, you have to be organized. Now you can do it a number of different ways. I'm personally using an app on my iPad to keep myself organized, but you can put it in notepad. You can put it in a prayer journal, or you can just put sticky notes all over the place, whatever works best for you. Um, so it's important that you stay organized if you really want this to work. Now, I'm going to be giving you, first of all, the main categories of what I've come up with so far. And I will link those down below so that you can get started. You can just use that as a template to get started. Now, the first thing that I went after is my faith. There's quite a bit that I want to do to improve my faith, to improve my walk with God. Um, I want a better prayer life. I, I want to feel the Holy Spirit throughout the day. And I want to be able to hear His voice so that when He is, is 
is let me let me look at my notes here so I don't screw up. When he leads me, I'll be able to hear him clearly. When he checks my spirit, I want to be able to know that I need to stop and to, to look and to see what's going on. And I want to be able to hear him so that he can teach me. Now, I've also got some very selfish stuff on here, but I've got stuff for others, for my marriage, for myself, for my family, for my work. And then what also I've done is in purple below each one of these categories, I've put God's response so that when I'm going through this, if I hear God say something about this, I can write it down so that when I come back to it later, if I'm feeling a little bit um, sad about something, that like I'm not feeling like I'm, I'm getting anywhere, I can come back and I can look at what he told me and get going again. So now that I've given you my basic list and how I've put it together and how I plan to work this document through the entire year, I hope that you will sit down and take a little bit of time and uh, put yours together and then meet with me with Pastor Patrick on New Year's Eve on his channel and we can pray about these things. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and spending your valuable time with me. I would love it if you would hit the like button and leave me a message down below. If you want to join the Milk Guild, please subscribe. Just hit my face right there. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified when I upload another video. And if you need a prayer, please send me a private message. Until next time, I'm Micah and have a blessed day.